This is a demonstration of eddy currents. I have here a piece of aluminum suspended on a, on a pendulum arm, and I have a powerful magnet, permanent magnet down here. It produces a magnetic field in this direction, and when this piece of aluminum enters that strong magnetic field region between the two poles of the magnet, the change in the flux, the magnetic flux, through this piece of aluminum induces an EMF in the aluminum and currents in the aluminum. And the direction of those can be determined by Lenz's law. If the magnetic field is in this direction, as the aluminum enters the magnetic field region, the magnetic flux is increasing. It's increasing in this direction. To oppose that increase, there are currents that go in this way that produce an induced magnetic field in the direction opposite the original magnetic field. And that oppose, that works out, th those actual currents produce a force that opposes the, uh, the actual motion of this aluminum plate. So what you'd be looking for is to see that the, whereas normally this would have oscillated uh, without much friction for a long time, when allowed to pass through the magnetic field, the force is quickly, or the, the motion is quickly damped out. Center that a little bit better. That's called eddy braking. It's used a lot in um, amusement park rides, actually, to slow down amusement park uh, uh, cars in, in roller coasters, etc. Now, with this piece of aluminum, we've got slits cut into it. So those circular eddy currents are not, uh, this will prevent any eddy currents um, to be produced. So this one can oscillate for quite a good long time and, and be very happy. The, uh, the other thing to mention about this, this one, the solid piece of aluminum, is that not only do you get breaking as it enters the magnetic field and as the magnetic flux is increasing through it, but you also get breaking as it exits the region of the magnetic field. And you get currents in the opposite direction. Both, the, both when entering and exiting, it tends to slow it down. So those are, that's eddy breaking and um, one more example of Faraday's law.